Hello, my name is Elliot. Thank you for joining me today. This is Freelance Duck Hunting and uh, I record duck hunting and goose hunting videos from the moment we start in early September clear up to some snow goose hunts in March. If you love waterfowl hunting, you love watching them on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to this channel so you can get all of the notifications for all of the videos I put out. So today, I've got a couple things I'm going to show you. Um, if you watch my videos at all, you know that a big part of what we do are using kayaks. And in this case, um, one of the boats and our fleet of boats is the Old Town 119 Sportsman. It's our lightest and most versatile, versatile little boat. Um, we use it many times through the year, so I'm going to show you the full loadout for one guy hunting in this boat so i'm going to show if i want if i want to get as many decoys possible into a hunt and i want to get in there light easy and efficiently here is exactly what i'm going to use and how i'm going to load up my boat so our full loadout now hang on to the very end of this because i've got some very special freelance duck hunting content that i want to show to you so hang on for that so let's go ahead and get right into this video on the old, old town sportsman 119 carry load for one person hunting by himself. So first of all, here is the Old Town Discovery 119. Now I've taken the seat out of this boat and I'll tell you why I've done that in a second. It comes with a seat that goes in there, but I do take it out for duck hunting. So I'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. Here are the specs for this boat. I'm putting them up here so you can see the dimensions. Now there is a link in the description. Move Georgie there is a link in the description of this video to this boat so you can go and check it out Georgie move so you can go check out all the dimensions and the specs so let's go ahead and jump into this right now all right so when I'm out on my own and I'm hunting with this thing here's typically what I want to take I've got my hunting bag I've got my gun I've got about three dozen decoys I've got the HCR layout lounge which I'll show you more later and then I've got my dog Georgie. She's going to come with me as as well. Now, a lot of times when I do this, I've got a layout um, blind on the boat. I don't have that on here now, but that is not going to affect anything that I'm doing with this. I can do this exact same load, but I do have a layout um, blind that I use on this. But let's just say, for the sake of argument, that this is just a drag-in and set up somewhere where you don't need to lay out in it. But you can do the same thing with laying out. I'm going to load this thing up and show you exactly how I'm going to situate this. And, uh, and that will give you an idea of the kind of load it can take. Alright, so first thing, I've got this HTR layout lounge. And anybody that's going to use a kayak or a canoe, I would 100% suggest using this. Now this is actually the older version. They've got a new, newer version that flips together. Um, but I'll show you how this goes in. This baby's gonna go right down in here. When I'm paddling, I'm typically sitting way up high like this. And uh, during blue wing teal hunting, I'm sitting up like this when I'm hunting too, when I'm in the boat. So you can paddle right like this, no problem. But then as you get there, you know, if you want to lay out lower, if you're actually laying out in this thing, you can drop it back. So it's not actually meant to be really adjustable, but it is. You can lay this thing all the way down, actually, to completely lay out. So it's kind of, when they made it, I don't think that they actually meant for it to be adjustable like that. But it, re it really is. Like I said, you can, put, you can lay it all the way out. So I'm always going to have this in there with me instead of um, the seat that I took out of here. All right, so my gun, I'm gonna put that in probably last. So I always have my dog sitting in the front of the boat. So I'm gonna put, these are 15 decoys here. I'm gonna drop 15 decoys in the back. I got 15 here. Now if you have a mojo I don't have, or a spinner of some kind, I don't have that with me too. That would probably go back here as well. So 12 to 15. That's about maximum amount back here without um, some falling out. Then I'm going to attach my sled to the boat as well. And I've just got, I don't even know what this thing is, just a little clasp. I'm going to clasp it on here. 
and then I'm gonna fill this sled with two dozen. Uh, you could probably actually get more than this in this sled. I think there's actually more than a dozen on here. This is roughly two dozen decoys. That's roughly two dozen decoys. Also, you can get your spinner poles in there if they're not too long. That's about two dozen decoys. Then I'm gonna put my blind bag right here. Now, if you don't have a dog, my dog's gonna sit right here in the front cockpit. If you don't have a dog, you don't have to worry about it, but my dog's gonna ride in the front. And then I'm gonna slip my gun right down in the side there. And so there's a one man, three dozen decoys, gun, hunting bag, layout lounge, and dog. Georgie here. Come up, stay, sit. So this is how I paddle. Now, mid video I just realized this. I actually have her behind me because I don't like my dogs in the front. So if you need to flip this around, you can flip it around. A little less space in the front compartment than in the back compartment. But I do normally like Georgie in the back, so I just I don't know what I was thinking. But Fumbles, who's actually recording right now. Hey, y'all. Yeah, because she wants to ride up front, and I just don't want to mess with her. She's behind me. If she misbehaves, then I can't get at her. So Fumbles normally has his dog in the front. I normally have Georgie in the back. Now, if you are going to put him in the back, then the, the switch you're going to make in that instance is I'm probably going to put my bag back there with Georgie and you could always have a dozen decoys here. And, and I mean, because it's a little bit smaller compartment at the front, but this is a full loadout for taking a Old Town 119 Sportsman out by yourself. Now, if you got a couple guys, you obviously have more decoys, but you know, and, and if you don't, if you don't want to worry about the sled, I'd say you're talking about a dozen decoys is the max. If you're not sledding it with you, about a dozen decoys, but this is a fantastic little boat we use it when we need to be light and there are multiple times in a year that this is the absolute best option to take because our portage is a long ways or we've got sometimes we're going up and down hills when we're dragging them in there and if we're dragging these in here we're not probably going to bring the sled too so this is a phenomenal option if you are looking for a light little canoe kayak hybrid that you can hunt out of by yourself be portable and um you know change your hunting to where you've got a little boat this is the one to pick so any questions go ahead and put them in the comment section i'd be happy to answer those and the links for this boat and actually they've got a lot of boats old town's got a lot of boats that they sell a lot bigger ones too i like this light one for what we do um, but they've got other boats as well so now we're going to get to it i'm going to show you the never seen before freelance duck hunting content if you like this content you're about to see head on over to patreon.com slash freelance duck hunting. There's a bunch of people over there that I put a lot of extra content. There's a bunch of content over there starting from season two that you guys have never seen. It's only a couple bucks a month. It really helps me do what we're doing and fun to keep this thing going and keep bringing you guys content. But the best thing that you guys can do actually is just subscribe. So hit that like button, subscribe. Anyway, let's get on to this extra content and then I will see you guys on the next video. Kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him. I walked under the blood. And I've seen those wolves gather. Things are heating up here, guys. Things are heating up. We're going to have something float right down in here, and you're going to be dusted. That's what's going to happen. Oh, yeah. But never have I found another house. Go ahead. That's a nice goose. Hey. Oh, man, that was he unleashed on. And there's the waiter yoga man himself. <laughs> it's the it. boy.
our bird dog's doing well. Got your bonus, you jerk! <laughs> it's the dream team again. Yes. Look what I found on the ground. How'd your wallet end up on the ground? I have no idea. <laughs> In other words, so if I just stand up against a tree and don't touch anything or help with anything, that's the desirable behavior. <laughs> what? I think the assassin's feeling some blood hunger because he never pulls the gun out this early. It's beautiful out right now. It looks like the sun's trying to come out. I'm thinking that it's a fool's errand on his part, but knowing him, it'll be a limit. I feel like the body's full of toxins. So we're gonna take care of that today. Yeah, that's sweet. Take good care of that one. Just in Take case. Take good care of it? Well, like in the frying pan? Get in again. Get him, Dad. Get him. Get him. Oh. <laughs> and I've tasted too many times.